Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be making this card for you and I'm going to show you um, what the supplies and um, techniques that I use to make this card. So stay tuned. So I'm going to start off our card with um, this stamp set from um, Simon Says Stamp. This is the wide stripes background and this is the first time that I've inked up this background. So I'm going to take it out. And I'm not going to really use a block. I really don't have a block, but I don't really need one um, to ink this up. But what I'm going to do is um, kind of stamp um, the stripes in kind of like a rainbow order. Um, I'm going to eventually be uh, die cutting this uh, white card stock piece um, down a little bit from using one of my frames. Um, so I may not be seeing the, well, I'll be seeing most of it, but I want it's cut down. but. If I don't get all the colors in there, that's okay. Um, I'll be getting most of them uh, in there. So I'm going to start off by um, stamping my Ladybug Memento ink. Like I said, this is the first time that I've inked up this stamp. So I'll have to stamp it probably in the colors and then go back and kind of re-ink it a little bit since it's had a little time to dry in between colors. Make sure I ink it up real good though. Okay, and then the Tangelo. I love this background because the stripes are so far apart and you could do so much with it. Um, have a lot of fun with it. So, okay, that looks good. Now with the cantaloupe. I always like the rainbow colors. It's so pleasing to the eye. It draws draws the eye to your project and really makes it pop. So okay, and next is bamboo leaves. I love Memento inks. Um, they have pretty good coverage and I love their colors and and I love these little dew drops because they're such a great little size. Okay and last um, Bahama Blue. ahead and try without having to re-ink any of it. I want to get it straight here. And put my paper down. Okay, and I've got a scratch piece of paper here so I'll get my fingers all inky. And really press that cardstock in. Sure, I get all the corners and okay, that should be good enough. So I'm gonna remove my scratch paper here and then lift it up. So pretty good. It'll be a little splotchy, but I'm sure it'll kind of even out just a little bit. And even if it doesn't, that's okay. So I'm gonna set my stamp aside. Now I'm going to use um, my uh, largest uh, postage edge frame here from Simon's Stamp and I'm going to die cut this piece like right here in the middle and so I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be back. Okay, um, now I've completed um, by die cutting my piece out and it turned out really great. So um, now I'm going to prep my card base and I'm going to be using a black card base. And this was in my stash. It's got a little bit of embossing powder on it. So I'm just kind of wiping that off. So I'm going to go ahead and score my card base here. And this will be a top folding card. So I'm going to score it at five and a half. Okay, 
I want to get my Teflon bone folder here and really crease that down. Make sure it's lined up good. I love this bone folder. It is a little pricey, but it is worth it. It's like an investment, like like your Copic markers or anything else. So, okay, so now I've got my card base here. And I'm gonna, it's gonna go just like that onto the card. Now I gotta decide what I wanna do with the sentiment. Um, I want to use this new um, Summon So Stamp uh, set called Hello You. It's a little three by four set. And I want, I want to be able to use the die cut that kind of goes with it, this big U die cut, um, or die, and I want to be able to use it. So I think I'm going to, um, and I'm going to probably die cut it several times in black card stock. Um, and, but I'm trying to decide which sentiment that I want to use. Um, let's see. I don't have, I'm always needing birthday cards, so I'm just going to go ahead and use the happy birthday too, and then die cut the U. So I'm going to go ahead and um, die cut my U several times, and then I will be back. Okay, I'm back. Um, I have went ahead and die cut my U die cuts, and I cut five of them. And I'm going to be stacking them on top of each other to give them a lot of dimension, as you probably already know um, if you've watched a lot of YouTube videos lately of card makers. The the big trend is to stack their die cuts. So, and I really like it too. I really like the effect that it gives. So, I'm going to be stacking them on top of each other, and I'm going to go ahead and do that now. And I'm going to be using my. Um, Put it in a little scratch paper so you can see this better because I've got a black mat and black die cut so you probably can't see it too well. So I'm going to push that aside and um, like I said I want to use my um, two-way glue pen here and started hearing one on top of each other and I like this I have several types of glues that I like. Um, I really like this one um, because of the applicator and um, and it it's easy to apply and stuff like that. So okay, I want to adhere that one on top of that one. You can kind of move it around to make sure that it lines up good. So I'm going to go ahead and finish adhering all of these die cuts together. And I'll be back with that. Okay, now that I have adhered all my die cuts together, I'm going to go ahead and before I might adhere it to my card. I'm going to take a little bit of Winca Stella and go ahead and apply that to my die cuts. And just give it a little shimmer because it's already a happy card with all the hap um, you know beautiful colors. So I want to give it a little shimmer too. And even though this has got shimmer on it, you can still give this to. Um, you know, the men in your life um, doesn't hurt them to have a little shimmer, so it just kind of brings it out a little bit, and it's not makes it stand out better. So I think everybody is obsessed with this Wink of Stella pen. I know I am. Seems like we can't make a card without it anymore. And what did we do before it? It's what that's the question. What did we ever do before it? I mean, I know there's stickles and everything else, but then there's other types of glitter pens and stuff. But we're just really obsessed with this this particular one. So I almost got this.
covered here. Okay. Now, I'll set that off to the side and let it dry a little bit. And I'll work on my main card here. I, like I said, I went ahead and chose the Happy Birthday to Sentiment from um, this stamp set here. And I'm going to ink it up with my favorite uh, black ink, the Onyx Black Ink. I think I'm going to put it in this, yeah, the second one there. I'm going to ink that up real good. hear that right there so I'm going to turn this over and put some glue okay. on this piece actually I'm going to set this aside right on my scrap paper and turn it over because I'm going to adhere my panel on first I'm going to adhere that with um, foam adhesive so I'm going to get my foam adhesive Take off the backings. I cut my nails down, so I, it's hard for me to grab these things right now. <laughs> okay. And I adhere it to my card base. I'm line up my card on my grid mat here. Down just a little bit. All fingers today, my goodness. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now I'm going to put a little bit more glue on my die cut. Now I'm going to adhere that to my card. that's it here down good real good okay now I feel like I need to have something up here okay so I finally decided on what I wanted to do to finish off this card and I went ahead and added a couple of enamel dots because I figure I may or may not be giving this to a male and I don't think they would like sequins because I was thinking about sequins. So anyway, so this is our finished card. I hope you enjoyed this project today and I appreciate you so much for stopping by and visiting my channel. Um, if you want to see more videos in the future from my channel, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and um, click the subscribe button. And I hope to have you visit my channel very soon. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.